12 animals that can live after death. Number 12. Cockroaches are a creature that is feared almost as much like a snake or a spider. These bugs can cause chills to run down nearly anyone's spine, especially when they take flight and seem as though they are chasing you around the room. However, these insects are far more sophisticated than we know. They are commonly explained as being the only creatures likely to survive a nuclear attack, as they are so resilient and tough. Cockroaches can live without their heads for several weeks at a time. This is because their bodies are restricted by specific blood pressure standards like humans. They also don't have loads of blood vessels as we do. Rather, they have a rather small blood supply that requires very low pressure to function. After their heads are removed, their blood vessels will clot over quite quickly, meaning that their body can still function without its head. Their heads can even remain intact apart from their bodies. They are known to be able to move their antennas around for hours after being decapitated. Truly unsettling. Number 11. Nearly everyone is afraid of venomous snakes. Many of us are simply afraid of snakes in general. Whether it's because the spineless animals simply freak us out, or because of previous traumatic experiences, snakes can instill horror in nearly everyone. Many of us were raised to believe that the easiest way to kill a snake is to chop its head off. However, this isn't the case in many venomous species. These creatures can live for several minutes after their heads have been removed, and a bite from a decapitated snake is just as deadly as a bite from an intact snake. Even after these snakes have been essentially killed, their heads can live on to inflict pain, misery, or even death upon its prey. There are several videos available online of people who have chopped the head off of a snake, only leaving it writhing around on the ground, attempting to bite anything and everything in its immediate proximity. Number 10. Frogs are another animal that are known to have body parts that can live on well after death. After they have been killed, frogs are known worldwide for having a few tricks up their sleeve to thoroughly creep you out from the afterlife. After they are brain dead, a frog's body can still respond to certain stimuli. Even though their brain is no longer active to tell the body to move, its limbs somehow contain enough knowledge to be able to react to certain situations. This is technically a standard chemical discharge from the animal, but it's creepy nonetheless. The exact reasoning behind this system being built into a frog is unknown, but it is believed that it is likely as a means to deter prey in some form or another. One of the most well-known examples of this type of behavior is apparent when cooking frog legs. Many people from the south love a good plate of fried frog legs. However, if the legs are quite fresh and are sprinkled with salt, they will begin to dance around the plate. This is truly terrifying, but is believed to be the result of iodized salt interacting with the nerves in the frog's muscles. Number 9. Spiders are some of the most feared creatures in existence. However, they're even more creepy when you realize that male spiders mate by using two appendages that are located on their faces. This is creepy because, much like other members of the animal kingdom, once the mating process begins, the males can become trapped by the female. It also isn't uncommon for females to begin to kill the male while it is still attached. However, in recent years, it has been observed that males will rip this portion of their face off and continue to live on without it. They will then fight the female to the death and oftentimes win this battle. Many of the males will pass away in the grand scheme of things, but they are proven to risk it all simply to escape from the female's grasp. Number 8. Chickens are wildly interesting animals. Many of us have likely heard the phrase, running around like a chicken with its head cut off. And there's a lot of truth to that phrase. Chickens can live without their heads for a brief period, and their bodies are bound to run around aimlessly until they finally lose steam and pass away. These chickens can live and breathe without their heads, and survive until they seemingly starve to death. This process is relatively common with chicken farmers. When chickens are killed, their heads are simply cut off and disposed of. However, if the farmer cuts the head off a bit too high, the chicken's brainstem can remain intact, allowing the chicken to live and breathe even without its head. This is truly terrifying to witness, but it's a simple fact of nature. Number 7. 
Praying mantis insects often become victims of the same fate as male spiders. It's extremely common around the animal kingdom for a praying mantis female to kill a male during a sexual encounter. What's uncommon about this is that the male mantis can still impregnate the female mantis even after it is deceased. Typically during an encounter, the female mantis will rip off the male's head and occasionally eat it. But even while this process is taking place, the male's body is still capable of interacting with the female enough to complete the insemination process. This is truly disturbing, but very important for the reproduction of a mantis. Number 6. Snapping turtles are a type of turtle that seems to be increasingly popular in recent years. This is mostly because many children now have them as pets. However, parents of these children may not realize just how dangerous these animals can be. Snapping turtles have sharp beaks located at the entrance of their mouths. These beaks, depending on the size of the turtle, can be strong and sharp enough to crush through bone. Much like snakes, many hunters believe that the easiest way to end the life of a snapping turtle that is posing a threat to you or your family is to simply cut its head off. However, this doesn't work at all. Snapping turtles can remain active for several hours after they have been killed. Their heads can remain alert and continue biting without their bodies, even being attached. Their heads can inflict serious injury to any of those in the surrounding area, and if bitten in certain areas, can even kill or incapacitate a human. Number 5. A fly is yet another creepy insect that some people are afraid of. They are typically seen as little more than a nuisance, but can give serious fear to some individuals. Flies can spread several different diseases and are known to occasionally lay their eggs in the food of humans. These eggs are almost always destroyed through our digestive system, but some doctors have found patients who come into serious medical complications as a result of fly larvae. Many restaurants these days have fly traps located around the room, or even bug zappers mounted on the walls. This seems to be the only certain way to kill a fly, as they too can live for several days after a part of their body has been crushed or removed. Much like cockroaches, flies are extremely resilient creatures that refuse to give up the ghost, even after being fatally wounded. Flies can absorb oxygen through their skin and do not need a head to perform basic functions. This means that even if their upper half has been severely injured, they can live on until they eventually starve to death. Number 4. Flatworms, hammerhead worms, and other types of nasty worms are some of the most strange insects in the world. They live in the dirt and typically feast on the decaying bodies of other wildlife. Their butts produce fertilizer that is essential to plant life, and without these creatures, we would cease to exist, as all of our plant life would eventually die off. These bugs lurk below the surface of the earth and are rarely ever seen on top of the ground. We walk around the world all day long, literally trampling on their home without ever even noticing. However, many children find these insects fascinating and play with them, even going as far as cutting their heads off or chopping them in half just to see what would happen. Very strange things will happen. Many of these worms are equipped with very complicated bodily systems that not only allow them to live after being fatally wounded, but potentially turn themselves into more worms. Essentially, some of these worms can be cut in half, and their bodies will regenerate in such a way that each half of the worm will become its independent being. Hammerhead worms are the worst in regards to this. Hammerhead worms pose a serious threat to plant life, as they naturally prey on other worms that plants depend on. Many gardeners find that the easiest way to combat this is to simply cut the worms in half or squish them. Though, this doesn't work and makes the process much worse. Even when a hammerhead worm has been squished, many of its cells can live on, a product a seemingly limitless supply of additional worms. Because of this, the only definite way to kill a series of hammerhead worms is with harmful poisons. Though, these poisons can pose a threat to humans as well. This leaves us with a serious lack of means to defend ourselves and our plants against the vicious insects in a safe way. These worms don't pose a direct threat to humans, but they seem intent on killing off our plant supply until we are left with nothing else to eat and less fresh air to breathe. Number 3. An octopus is one of nature's many mysterious creatures who seem to continually amaze scientists every day. 
These creatures can manipulate their bodies in ways that we could have never even imagined and can shoot harmful ink from their suction cup-like fingers to defend themselves against prey. More recently, video footage was captured of a specific type of octopus working its body through a hole that was only slightly larger than a pinhole. These animals are smart and able to manipulate their way out of almost any tough situation, even death, even if an octopus is completely hacked to bits. It has enough neurons in its limbs to continue living on well after its natural life has ceased. Number 2. Salamanders are a type of lizard that can be super creepy in terms of its ability to live through nearly any type of attack. These lizards can regenerate nearly all of their limbs and can even regenerate a faulty spinal cord. This means that even if one of these lizards gets crushed or stepped on, there is still a chance that it can regenerate enough limbs to live on, even if its head is squished in the process. These lizards can regenerate a full functional brain without hesitation. Number 1. This final animal may seem like a bit of a stretch, but hear us out. Whales are known to be some of the oldest living animals in the world. Several types of whale are known to live on for well over 200 years. While not technically immortal, these animals live for such an unbelievably long amount of time and endure so much abuse and neglect throughout their lives that scientists have begun to wonder if they are potentially the most durable mammal in existence. There have been certain whales discovered that were found to have been alive since the 1800s. Long after their seemingly natural lives should have ended, these whales continue to live on, surviving war attacks, underwater mines, and so much more. They are truly one of the most interesting animals in the world.